So clearly the Sigma 60 millimeter is a hit. I'm enamored by this lens. I absolutely love it. It hasn't come off my camera body since I made my last video. Um, and I wanted to do a few autofocus tests and some handheld tests because I had a lot of comments in the comment section about is this lens any good for autofocus? And I say it is good for autofocus, but being not a native lens, you just never really know. So um, let's do some real world testing, get out to the mall, hit, I've seen enough malls to last me a lifetime, but um, everything's gonna be continuous autofocus, wide, 1.4, got an ND filter on, one over 50th shutter speed, and uh, yeah, let's test out the autofocus and the handheld capabilities because a lot of people think the handheld capabilities are almost impossible with not having stabilization. I say we can go for it. So let's do it. All right. It's a auto te auto focus testing. Yeah, I know what you're doing. It's, it doesn't make me. Oh, okay. In that case, please bring it closer to my face. Let's move on. And I think it is, so I just, I literally don't have a gorilla pod, I don't have a gimbal, I don't have anything, I'm just holding the camera with my hand. And um, we'll see how usable it is. Today we're people of Walmart, so welcome. Probably smart idea to be Quick grinders. 40 30. Low center of gravity. 24 98. Your item in the baggy area. 13 97. Okay, check it. Finish your pay. How many store provided bags to me? Do you have oh. your total is Follow the instructions Dad. on the pin pad. You gotta put on a big load tonight. What? You gotta put on a big load of laundry tonight. I don't know how many dirty people have tried these clothes. Yet. All right. So all in all, I think this camera and this lens combination is pretty darn good. I mean, the autofocus did pretty well in those tests. I was really rough and kind of over the top with those tests. I normally wouldn't be so like jerky and whipping the camera around like crazy like that, but I wanted to do kind of like a real world test. So um, my thoughts is that it is usable handheld. If you have in-body image stabilization, maybe a little bit of warp stabilization in post, it is usable. Um, the autofocus I think is really fast. And um, there was one, I had one gimbal shot in there. I lied when I said I was handheld. There was, in the mall there, there was one gimbal shot. But um, overall, I'm really pleased and happy with this lens. What I really need to do is unplug for a few days. I'm so glad I don't have to go to the mall. I don't have to wrap presents. And I don't have to go see relatives and all that kind of stuff, even though I love you all. Um, I just need a break. So 
um, thanks for joining me and I'm gonna see you guys on the next video I'm gonna upload something soon maybe back to my sort of normal domesticated cinematic vlogs as opposed to all this kind of like techie testing stuff although I did like that thanks for all the new subscribers um, and uh, there's gonna be lots of content to come so I will see you guys soon subscribe if you haven't already and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, one more thing. Um, check me out on Instagram. I upload a lot of content to Instagram and uh, it's kind of like my second platform of choice. So, at Dale's Garage. And uh, yeah, I've really been interested. I've really been getting into making stories lately. So yeah, there's that.